Hello friends, hope you all are doing good and welcome to this session, this fourth session of the Terraforms. So today we are going to discuss about the provider, the provider that Terraform supports. So if you look into the Terraform version, currently it's, it's under 1.1.4. So I have the same version installed in my system. If you run the query, Terraform version, it will list the same version. Okay, so this is the Terraform version and the provider version is something different. So each of the provider have its own version and keep they are keep on uh, revising the version and so that they can uh, provide the full supports, different different functionalities like the Terra version have increasing the version to make our functionality, the Terraform functionality be in a better way, like introducing some function, introducing some features. In the same way, the provider also keep on uh, updating the version. So if you look into the AWS, this is the AWS uh, latest release. So latest version is 3.74. And you can see that before 13 days, it was 3.73. Before 20 days, it was 3.72. So the provider also keep on um, uh, changing, uh, keep on up updating, keep on fixing the bug they identified. So keep on um, the increasing the version number. So you can see that they, they um, update the uh, the, the uh, provider version very frequently. This so this is the list of all the all the revisions you can see for the AWS provider only. Okay. So I'm going to the AWS and looking for the documentations here you can find the, the code so you can see that the 3.74 is the latest one and the terraforms is providing so i'm copying this uh, uh, this this code and putting it into the atom editor so you can see that we don't have any things in the terraform folder you don't uh, find any any of the um, binary that we downloaded for any of the provider it's stress environment so in the uh, uh, provider.tf i've just added this particular code so what this code will do this code will uh, bring the latest versions okay if we not provide the version number here then also it will fetch the latest one whatever the latest uh, provider version for the aws it will um, uh, download that only okay so i'm keeping this uh, version information 3.74 and i'm running I'm going to save it and running our terraform 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 in it because i added one provider okay so you can see that it's downloading the latest version okay So you can see in the Terraform, we have the provider, we have the registry, and here is the latest version of the AWS get downloaded. Okay, and there is also a log file. Okay, so this particular log file will restrict. Let me remove this. Ah, this is the latest one. Okay, so 3.74 is the constant. So this you can see that this is the constant that we provided. If you not provide it, it will fetch the latest one all the time. And, and the 7, 7, uh, 3.74 uh, is the constant and the, the version is the 3.74. So both, both are matching. Okay, so now uh, suppose that um, if I want to downgrade the version. So okay, as per the our um, organization's requirement, we have to use 3.73, not the 3.74 because 3.74 have some different features which is not supporting. Um, so I have to downgrade. So what we have to do we have to first go to the here and we have to see the, okay 3 uh, 3.73 is supported so what we are going to do here uh, we are going to change our uh, provider to 773 uh, okay so this is i am going to save it now i am going to run the terraform in it again because we did the modifications so this time it will complain why it's complained because we have a log file Okay, so you, if you see in the log file, it's it's the log file has very important role, and you, 
you guys will not going to play with this particular file i'm i'm just guiding you to uh, how you can understand this uh, provider related and the provider versioning things so you um, in the organizations you don't have to um, play with this particular and because uh, the things will be and get, get messed and you have to delete this file and then you have to create again if you do any types of modifications so you can see that there is a log file and the log file have the constraint to use in the application 3.74 because as per the terraform terraform knows that uh, as per your code you mentioned these types of things and now you are changing to the 73 so the one way is that you can delete the log file okay so i am going to delete the log file so log file is con currently deleted now i am going to run the terraform init command again this time it will go in a smooth way because the, the, it not find any log file so it didn't uh, have to things to identify that something is previously applied so terraform will consider it as a fresh so you requ your requirement is to uh, download the 3.73 and it's doing the same so uh, if you look into the atom editor so here is the you can see that uh, let me refresh it so you can see that the constraint is now 3.73 and the requirement is also the version is also 3.73 so you can see that the uh, terraform will look into the um, uh, log file each of the time uh, so there is one more command um, let me show you uh, suppose i i go to the to change it to the 3.72 or any of the 3.6 that i have to use okay so this is now my requirement my requirement get changed i am going to use 3.68 okay and this time i'm not going to remove the log files okay if I, I i apply the changes it will again complain okay so uh, why it's complain because it's find the log file and log file have some different versions okay so what i'm going to use i'm going to use the upgrade command and same is mentioned here as well okay you don't have to remove the log file you can use the upgrade okay so when you use the upgrade it will it will just unlock the log file and the move uh, the mark their other informations and accordingly uh, it, it get changed in the log file as well so you can see that the code is currently running very smooth and it is installing the uh, the version 3.68 this is uh, as per our requirement okay this time i didn't remove the log file without removing the log file i am just uh, downloading the latest version not the latest version but our required version okay so you can see here uh, that we have the 3.68 also we have the th 3.73 also we have the 7, uh, 7, uh, 74 also okay so now what happen if i uh, remove this particular line okay in in that case the terraform uh, will look into the log file okay so first thing is that terraform look into the tf file either the version is provided or not then after it's looking into the log file so i am going to show you that um, suppose uh, i am i am removing this line okay i am removing it so uh, we, in the tf file we don't have any inf informations i am reviewing the terraform directory also okay this also get removed so now we have the log file we have the tf file in the tf file we don't have any version in informations okay but we have the log file so uh, if i run the uh, the init command then it will look into the first the tf file okay it will not find it so it will jump into the log file either we have the log file for the version to use so it will going to download this this one not the latest one so let me uh, show you that as well i'm not going to use the upgrade uh, i'm going to use the init command only because we don't have any binaries downloaded so it will look here in the, it will it is downloading not the latest one it's down, downloading the 3.6 because first time it's referred to the terraform file there in the version number is not mentioned there so uh, it look into the terraform log file and as per the log file we have to use the 3.68 so it's downloading the uh, the, uh, the binaries for the this particular division 3.68 okay so th this is the first thing so now how we can use the version argument so we can use the, um, the greater sign equal to 3.0 okay we can use the less than 
so in that case uh, it will um, use the versions uh, greater than or equal to the version so uh, it's quite simple uh, to understand less than equal to say um, 3.0 and 2.x we have so if you use the tilde mark greater than sign so it will use any version uh, 2.x uh, and this is the range so you can um, guide the terraform to use any of the um, version between uh, 3.10 uh, to 3.50 okay so let me use any one suppose i i'm going to use this one okay so what do you think that what will be the the version it will be the version of 2x okay so what is the maximum version within that in the, the for the major version 2 so if you look into the this particular thing uh, the latest version release so if you find 2.2 which one is the maximum all are coming from the, the division three okay this this one is the maximum of uh, the two, uh, two, uh, two version two so you you can see that if i i just add that particular code okay and use this one 2.0 then it will going to download the version uh, of uh, which is the maximum in two series means the version 2.70.1 as per this list okay this this version is going to download so let me try it first i'm going to save it okay and now i'm going to try it this time i'm going to use upgrade because we have the log file so look here the, it's it's downloading the latest in the two point um, uh, in the two series means the version two have the latest uh, minor version is 70 and sub minor version is one so it's downloading uh, downloaded that particular um, binaries so you can see here in the atom editor it's downloaded and the terraform log file is also get changed so this is the constraint that we provided this is the constraint okay and as per the constraint it's downloaded uh, this particular version so in this way you can uh, apply the other one also this one so what will be the maximum in this particular range will be picked okay so i am going to update our terraform file just copy it and uh, going to save it going to run the upgrade command again So you can see that 3.50.0 is the maximum. So this is the maximum in this particular range. So it's picked the maximum. So always it will pick the maximum revision if we provide any range. So you can see that Terraform will pick the maximum one. And this is our constraint that we provided. And this is the revision that it's downloaded. So if you see 2.70.1 we used, for the this particular series what happened if i use 2.70.2 because it's not exist in this particular so there is no version that aws provided with the with the number 2.70.2 so let me use that one in that case definitely it have to throw the error 2.70.2 let me save it And now I'm going to use the terraform init command with upgrade flag. So you can see that it's failed because no available release matched the given constraint. So this particular version not exist. So this is the lecture regarding the provider only. So as you have its own provider and keep on up, uh, updating the uh, Kubernetes have on provider. So you, uh, you can see that it's a um, very good features uh, that the Terraform apply the log so that we cannot accidentally change the revision because uh, uh, this thing, these, these things are very important because our code works as per the, the version and we have to be very strict on using it so uh, definitely if the terraform we have to uh, upgrade the terraform version or uh, always means means whenever there is a release and when there is a requirement we have to upgrade it we have to upgrade the provider version as per our requirement if, if we, uh, some uh, features that um, enhanced for the uh, for any particular revision and we want to use is definitely uh, we have to jump into it 
but side by side we have to also make our code compatible to use on that particular version and we have to test it before applying it to the productions so this is the very uh, you can say the very important things uh, that we discussed in this particular session if you like my guys my like my video then please subscribe to my channel and keep motivating me all the time uh, give me a thumbs up and if you have any comments regarding how we can improve uh, our session then please uh, put a comments I, I definitely will look into it so have a nice day uh, and keep learning